it's 7 o'clock, according to my watch, and I think there too. I'd like to call this meeting to order. This is a public hearing by the Zoning Board of Appeals, Town of Granby. Representing the board are Stephen Muller, Robert Lindire, Ann Crimmins, Suzanne Yuha, and Lynn Gelso. And Tom. Tom Caputi. Oh, Tom, I didn't expect you. Wonderful. You're an alternate. Nice to yes. you. So I think you're out, right? Will the secretary the please read the legal notice of tonight's meeting? Town of Greenby Legal Notice Zoning Board of Appeals. There will be a public hearing conducted at the Zoning Board of Appeals on Tuesday, October 18, 2022 at 7 p.m. in the Granby Town Hall meeting room, 15 North Granby Road, to hear the following items. Appeal by Matt Olson, seeking a side yard variance of Zoning Regulation Section 8.1.3.2 to construct a 40-foot by 50-foot detached garage, 86 Granville Road, file Z. 09-22-01. An appeal by Stephen Basil seeking a front yard variance of the zoning regulation sections 8.15.0 to construct a 36 foot by 26 foot barn, 11 Mechanicsville Road, file Z09-22-02. Appeal by Philippe Pereira, Pereira, Pereira seeking a front yard variance of zoning regulation sections 8.1.3.2 to construct a 64 by 30 foot detached garage, 96 Mountain Road, file Z09-22-03. At the hearing, interested persons may appear and written communications will be received. All information is located at the town website, www.granby-ct.gov. Thank you. You have copies of the minutes of the last meeting. Mm -hmm. May I have an, a motion to approve? So made. A second. second. Any additions or corrections? I think it looks good. Hearing none, all those in favor? Aye. aye. Say aye. All those opposed, say no. Abstentions, abstain. Abstain. Just a, a little bit of housekeeping business before we get started. You don't have to stay. Okay. I wasn't sure I didn't want to Thank you so us. much. No, I hadn't known that Tom was coming. And here he is. I was in the email with you. Were you? Yes. Did I you answer? On, I was on a thread saying I was coming. Oh, okay. Thank you. Thank you. My mistake. Thank, Thank you. you. Okay. So Here's how we operate. We hear the appeals in the order of the legal notice. You, as applicants, will explain the application to the board and will introduce any exhibits you feel that will help us to make a fair decision. Speakers can speak on behalf. Speakers can speak in opposition. The applicant may rebut any opposition. We, as board members, of course, will ask questions. Speakers, when you come up to the podium to speak, would you please give your name and address before speaking? After we reach a decision, you'll be notified by certified mail, usually within 10 days. We've been asking people to be a little bit um, understanding of staffing problems, still in the COVID zone here. Uh, granting a variance or an appeal requires a yes vote of four members. If we grant your variance, be sure to record it with the town clerk within 90 days. Okay, the first is the appeal by Matt Olson. Is Mr. Olson here? Hello, come on up. My name is Matt Olson, owner of 86 Granville Road. Okay. I'm um, looking for a variance to put up a structure 30 feet off of my neighbor's property line. I believe their address is 90 Granville Road. Um, the reason I'm asking for that is, one, because of the area behind this wetlands, so I cannot get any farther. I already have that approved mm -hmm. on the site. Um, and then I can't move it off the fence because of where the location of my well also can't move it forward because it would cause flooding into my house with great change. The um, purpose of the structure is to house uh, some of my landscaping equipment, 
don't have to leave it laying around outside. I understand that's another permit that I'm going to have to come back for next Tuesday. Um, I do have a letter here. I don't know if you guys have the letter from the Barnowski's at 80. I think it's 80 Grand Road. Yeah, we do. We do. You guys, would you like to go over anything on that, or is that... Some, some of it seems like a issue for the next meeting, not a variance. Yes. Correct. Okay. So yes. we can skip that. Um, you guys have any questions for me? Board, any questions? How many vehicles are you having on this? Like, how many commercial <coughs> properties? Because the way you explain trailers and everything is registered commercially. Yes. So there's three commercial vehicles, trucks, um, one pickup truck, a small dump truck, um, and then a larger dump truck. Uh, there's three trailers. Um, so where the shop, most of that would fit inside the shop. Obviously, the trucks I would be outside. And there's another area that's approved by wetlands to put in gravel. So I can park that in between the shop and my house. So mm -hmm. it's pretty much to kind of keep the property clean. So if I do get the permit for the business, I can keep organized. Any other questions? Um, and you already went through wetlands, you have... Yeah, wetlands, wetlands is approved. Okay. Mm -hmm. Now where's your, this is your plot plan, right? Yep. Where's your septic tank? So the tank is, is directly off the front of the house. So in front of that is also an area where I believe I'm not allowed to build on. Right. <coughs> where was the well? Oh, here's the, the well. well. I see it right here. It's in that little hollow there. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Oh, that's the driveway. Come in. Yeah. So the, yeah. okay. That's your drive. The driveway is existing, right? Yeah. So there's one in there. There's a driveway. Um, just out of curiosity, what's the um, is there like tree structures or shrubs or bushes or is it just a open grass to the neighbors? I'm just curious. You mean as far as privacy screen yeah. or where the yeah. shop's going to be? Privacy, where the along the, the, the along this line here. So on, um, I have pictures here if you want to see them. 90 Granville Road. There's a couple mature hemlocks blocking the site of the house. There's also a wooden picket fence. Um, to 80 Granville Road, there's a berm that was previously installed by the Barnowskis and mature white pines. There's really no sight line to go through that to see anything in the backyard or the shop area. If you guys want to look at the pictures, I can. Yeah. Yes, please. There's more labels on the bottom of the addresses. The screening on the property to the north with the picket fence is not that great. I have talked to that neighbor and he's told me numerous times he doesn't really care what I do on my property, but I would be willing to mm -hmm. do some sort of more fencing or um, Arbor Vitae, some sort of privacy screening. Okay. Is that your fence or his fence? It's his fence. Okay. okay. It's directly on the okay, property. It's Thank you. Any other questions? My biggest concern is not with the presentation, it's with the order we're seeing these, because this is obviously a residential zone, yep. and it's commercial. It'll be a de facto commercial use by your yes. storage, and I think we should. It almost the, the order. I think we should probably wait until. The uh, planning and zoning makes their decision on whether they're even going to allow it. Unfortunately, we... it has to be in the order that it's happening here. Oh, it... What we concern ourselves with, and I'm sure you know this already, is the footprint of things that are being built right. in relationship to the perimeters or other buildings or, or wetlands and that sort of thing. Should we approve this variance? It then goes to planning and zoning, and they're, they're the for, people they're who decide use. what it's used for. Right. Yeah. That's, 
it, it, it seems practical on the face of it, the way you're doing it, but that's not the way that it's set up by charter. Odd, uh, but okay. Yeah. <laughs> so at least there's an explanation. Yeah. 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 And I'm sure that was explained to you, yes? Yeah, I've gone over all the regulations for the business permit. And mm -hmm. yep. with the area I'm in, it is permitted to do the, to have right. the business there. Yep. Yep. Depending on the fashion of how you're running it. Right. right. But it, BNC so can't discuss any of that, that if it's that not an approved. Yeah, if it's right. right. building, it's because right. then, right. then yeah. you're just conjecture. Yeah. yeah. Right. Exactly. Okay. Um, what are the other questions? And we bring this so up often. Any other the questions board. from the board? Yeah. One of the things that we bring up often is when you're considering the footprint of the building that does include any overhangs, eaves, and gutters, yes. and things like that. So the building, the actual enclosed building is 30 by 50 uh -huh. on the side towards my house, there's going to be a 10 foot overhang. It's yeah. also 50 feet long to go on. With the that's nothing along the side yard side? Not to the property that's 30 feet away. Right. Okay. And is there going to be an overhang or is that the, is the 30? That's by just going to be a um, wood style barn. Okay. Because okay. the overhang with a gutter or anything like that would be, has to be included in that. Yeah, it is. In that, in the it's dimensions. included. It's okay. included. Yeah. In so okay. the shop dimension is 30 by 50. Right. With the, the, over, with the, the overhang the, is adding on another 10 feet, so it's 40 by 50 overall. Okay. Okay. Any other questions from the board? Thank you very much. We Thank may you. have further questions later. Okay. Thank you. Okay. Is there anyone here who wishes to speak in support of this petition? Hearing none, I'll ask is there anyone here to speak in opposition? Madam Chairman, members of the Zoning Board of Appeals, my name is T.J. Donahue. My address is 363 Main Street, Hartford, Connecticut. I'm an attorney, and I represent the Bronowski family, who are the immediate adjoining neighbors to the south. We filed a letter with you today. It's, it's brief. I'll read it to you, if you don't mind. This office represents the Barnowski family, who own property at 80 Granville Road, adjacent to the 86 <coughs> Granville property, which is the subject of this application. Respectfully, the Bernoskis oppose the variance for the following reasons. No credible hardship has or can be shown to support a variance. And a variance should not be granted because the admitted purpose of the proposal, which is the heart of the hardship, is to facilitate a commercial structure referred to by the applicant as a shop and activities thereupon and therein which would have at least two employees, at least two trucks, both over two and a half tons, two trailers, an excavator and other equipment on a residential lot in a residential neighborhood. All of the above are not permitted by zoning regulations within a residential zone. The granting of the variance for this purpose would diminish the value of the neighboring properties, including the property owned by Mr. Barnowski. And if, you, if I could, I'd like to introduce Mr. Barnowski to briefly tell you about the property. My name is Bob Barnowski. My wife and I live on 80 Granville Road, which is adjacent to Mr. and Mrs. Olson. Um, in January, we will celebrate our 44-year anniversary of being in that house, in that same location. I am familiar with the real estate prices and values, including sale prices in the neighborhood and in North Granby. I am very familiar with all aspects of living in this neighborhood and the premium of rural, quiet, residential character. We raised two kids there. At 73, I have seen and experienced instances where active commercial uses with worker arrivals, departures, and extensive use and transport of commercial vehicles change the character of the neighborhood and devalue adjoining properties. I believe that the granting of this variance will cause a significant devaluation to my property and other surrounding properties. As a neighbor, I respectfully request that this variance be denied. Thank you. Thank you. Is there anyone else to speak? Oh, you have three other brief points, Madam Chair. Okay. Number one, I appreciate we appreciate the candor of the applicant. He's filed pictures of the vehicles he's going to put on the property. He said what he's going to do. He calls it a shop, not a garage. He already has a horse barn on the property, but he's been totally forthcoming with, which, with what he plans to do when I give him credit for that. Number two, 
if you look at the Mr. Olson on his social media posts and, and programs, he does beautiful work, and he has an extraordinary business, and he's, it looks like it's growing like topsy. And for a neighbor, that makes you more and more concerned about a creeping variance, which would enable more and more. He has a thriving business that looks like it's a great business, and it ought to be in a commercial zone. And finally, Madam Chairman, I'd like to point out that I believe that this application is clearly differentiated from the other two applications on your agenda this evening. Uh, you've got a, you got good presentations in those, but one of them is a very strange state lot where the adjacent neighbor who shares an access with it says that it it increases the value of the property and makes the neighborhood better. And the other one is a is a is a, a, a circumstance where a fire burned down a barn and now they want to recreate redo the barn but not so close to the road, not strangling the road. All of these are at, from a zoning policy standpoint are all good things. Uh, we salute to Mr. Olson on the, his very successful business, but we're very anxious that the variance be denied. We don't think that the hardship's been shown. So. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Donahue. Is there anyone else who wishes to speak in opposition? Does anyone on the board have additional questions for this petition? Mm -hmm. Okay. The next petition. I, I just have one question. Yes. Have you considered pushing the barn a little bit farther away from the sideline? Because uh, you could. Looks like you might be able to do that. I could. The well is right there in the driveway, so I can move it. I can move it from the well and I can move it farther. Of course, the back of the house would be closer to the barn house. Uh, what are you asking? Which I was just direction? wondering if they could move if they could move it more towards the center of the lot. The of the you lot. know, put it behind the well, but you know, keep the distance that you have to keep away from the well. Mm -hmm. Just thinking. It would encroach on the weapons more from where the lines are. No, I don't necessarily see that too much, but any other questions? All right, let's move on to the next petition. Thank you. Thank you. You can stay if you wish to stay. Good luck now. Ah, okay. Stephen Bazile. Hello. Um, our barn was hit by lightning on August 23rd. Well, can you, can you, you have to announce your name and your address? address. Oh, sorry. I'm Susan Basil. I live at 11 Mechanicsville Road in Granby. And on August 23rd, our barn was hit by lightning and burned well beyond repair. I have some pictures if you'd like to see it. And the barn is presently 10 feet back from the road. And we would like to put it 20 feet back from the road, 36 by 26. And if we go back farther from the road, we would have to move the septic tank. So that's why we're asking to just move it 20 feet back. Can you maybe step questions? forward and give me some clarity on this map here? I'm going to have to get my oh, map. It's right here. It's, that, I just want to make sure. Because it, oh, it does say new barn. I'm going to see it. Yeah, this, was, this was the existing. Yeah, exactly. OK. I didn't see the one there. I really feel it. I just saw it now that it says new barn down here, but it was that this is where you're intending. This was the old barn, correct? Correct. Okay. And this is the road? Um, yeah, it says Mechanics Hill Road, so that's yeah, this one. Yeah. All right. All right. See, here's so it's going to be a little bit of a smaller, you got something here. Yeah. Set back right. farther and smaller and square. Yeah. Or right. rectangular. Yeah. yeah. Right. Okay. Okay. Just wanted to make sure okay. that I have it right. I thought so, but I like to verify. All right. Are there any other questions? Thank you very much. Is there anyone here to speak in favor of this petition? Hearing none, is there anyone here to speak in opposition? Thank you very much. The next item on the agenda is the appeal by Felipe Pereira. Is Mr. Pereira here? 
<laughs> Hello, everyone. My name is Philippe Pereira, uh, property 96 Mountain Road, North Granby. I'm excited, excited to be here tonight. Uh, this has been a learning experience, certainly, but working with Katie, Abby, and Renee has been a pleasure so far. Uh, the purpose of my presence here tonight is to discuss my appeal for a 70-foot variance in zoning that is applicable to me as a rear lot in order to accommodate a personal garage for personal use. A uh, bit of context, uh, earlier this year in January, my then fiance and I purchased what we consider to be our own little slice of heaven in North Granby. At the time, the property was uh, strewn with litter and honestly in a state of disregard. We spent many spring evenings picking up what became hundreds of pounds of trash, old car parts, and general waste from the property. Uh, in addition to the overall cleanup of the property, one of our long-term visions was to be able to build a detached garage. Both of us are mechanically inclined. We enjoy motorcycles, cars, nothing uh, obnoxious, but, you know, for, for personal enjoyment. Um, you know, at the time that we purchased the property, we thought, you know, it was a, it was a perfect option to p potentially be able to build later on, given it's set back from the road, set back from the neighbors, and therefore it's inherent privacy. Uh, <laughs> since then, we've, we've recently gotten married and have had the ability to shift our priorities to some of these projects that, that we envisioned. Uh, and I've got to be honest, we've been humbled a bit in the process, learning that there's going to be a couple of challenges uh, that we're going to need to overcome for this project to happen. Um, some of them, which I think will present themselves as hardships tonight. Uh, to paint a clearer picture of the property itself, 96R Mountain Road is, as my wife so eloquently calls it, shaped like a T-bone steak with a 340-foot private driveway off of Mountain Road. The proposed garage would be on the southwest area of the property, roughly 300 feet away from our neighbor to the southwest. Uh, about 225 feet of that 300 feet is wooded uh, and can be seen in one of the aerial shots that I recently provided. Um, to Renee and Abby last week. Um, the other property that's nearest to us is about 240 feet away, and it uh, should be mentioned that neither, neither of those properties have a direct line of sight of where we would like to, to locate the, the garage. Um, I've spoken to both of my neighbors that, that abut my property. The third one would be um, a very small sliver to the left of, of uh, Mary Lou, and the fourth one would be the Granby Land Trust, but that's on the other side of the property. Um, so going to the purpose of tonight's meeting, the hardships, as my understanding is for, for a special permit to be had, uh, or a variance in this case. Um, the, the biggest ones would be the wetlands on the west side of the property, and then uh, the septic and leach fields on the east side of the property. Uh, in the diagram that I've submitted, uh, I took the time to scale, based off of early 2000s drawings, the wetlands that were recorded in the early 2000s. However, it should be mentioned that uh, since then and during the ownership of the prior owner, a significant amount of site alteration has been done. Um, so that may or may not be uh, as correct or relevant as, as we would like. That being said, I am in conversations with Katie, um, Abby, and Renee also in regards to the procedures in terms of going through uh, this process first, wetlands, and then ultimately planning and zoning given the size of the property. Um, in addition to the obvious hardships shown, well, excuse me, my perceived obvious hardships given the wetlands and, and the septic, um, we do have a strong interest in disturbing the land as little as possible. And given that the area that we would like to propose the garage was already disturbed significantly and is currently outside of wetlands, or, and even at the time that these wetlands were delineated was also out of wetlands, we believe that's the, the best location for the site. Both, it wouldn't require any significant tree removal, um, you know, obviously we have the minimum rear setback in the rear of the property, which eliminates a lot of that area and then also the the change in elevation and again our our desire to not cut a significant amount of trees if we were to put it you know past the septic tank for example um, and not to mention if there was ever an emergency or something 
getting a vehicle back there would be treacherous. And uh, yeah, it's, I welcome any questions you guys may have. It's a good proposal. Thank you. Um, looking at the, the small inset picture on this. Yes. Looks like just past here, this is the area you want to build where the trees are kind of cut down. Yeah, so it doesn't show well. Um, it's hard you know, to see. Because the, the GIS is never straight down. It's always kind of on an angle. Um, if there's any, you know, tree cutting necessary, I can't imagine it would be more than a handful of trees. Um, and all out of the wetlands, right. undoubtedly, by then. Um, but it is, it's been cleared out quite a bit. Uh, if you look actually on the GIS right now, and, and even Google Maps, I believe, you can see a whole host of construction equipment, trailers, et cetera, that the previous owners, I mean, they made a whole like U-turn in the wetlands area. Uh, yeah. And uh, that's why, you know, now it's, it's all crushed stone and, and millings, mm -hmm. um, which again, like, you know, our intent is to disturb as little as possible just seems ideal given it's not you know virgin soil as they say anymore are there any further questions um, i don't think yeah I mean, you can see that the change too but right. to the other area how much right. how much fill it get, gets get in it closer to the wetlands yeah. yeah one of the other things about the are you referring to the change of elevation yeah, yeah. Yeah, so uh, most full-size pickup trucks are 20-some-odd feet now, and with a plow, it's real hard to, mm. to make that turn in to the garage. So, you know, the further that we go towards that, that drop-off, mm -hmm. yeah, the, the less space we have to be able to actually get in the garage. <laughs> so that's why, like, that certainly, in my opinion, aids in why I would need to push closer to the, to the south property line as opposed to you know, going towards the GLT side. And you did notify the Granby Land Trust, right? You said you talked to them? I did not speak okay. to them specifically. I know that it was mailed yeah. as a part of the yeah. uh, public hearing process. The two neighbors I spoke to, um, again, if you look at that diagram in the, the bottom right, it would be uh, Coleman, who is on the east side of, of our property, and then Mary Lou, who's on the west side of the property. Because mm -hmm. I figured those are going to be the two that, I mean, they're not going to be impacted by this. There's hundreds of feet of woods, but right. in terms of like people who may even have a remote chance of being impacted, uh, those would be the two. So. And you said it's not in the line of sight of either of these properties. No, and, and we uh, we don't plan on making the structure highlight or pink or anything like that. I don't, <laughs> I don't, as of right now, we're planning for you know a tan and a brown, you know a, a wainscot darker brown on the bottom, mm -hmm. brown just, roof. Just for general topography, if this is the road and here's your two neighbors, does the land kind of go down? Oh yeah, quite oh, yeah. some bit. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I, I didn't drive by it. I'm on Donnie. Sure. Oh, you're on Donnie? Okay, cool. Right. Yeah. Oh yeah, I, I run and ride that road all the time. It's like, <laughs> yeah, it drops significantly. Right. And, and then, so my understanding is when they uh, leveled it off, they, up, yeah, exactly, they sloped here. it to he's the backyard. Up, he's right around the corner of the mountain. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You know where the, uh, the shed Any is further the questions? The no. Okay, thank you. Is there anyone yes. here to oh, speak yeah, in, up exactly. in support of this know. petition? Hearing none, is there any? You're here to speak in support? Come on up. <laughs> Good evening, everyone. Uh, my name is Kim Pereira, Philippe's new wife, 96 Mountain Road. I just want to say I'm a favor. This has been a dream of Philippe's for a very long time. We previously lived in Windsor Locks on a house that was maybe 10 feet from the road, but had a 30 by 40 garage. So Philippe was very happy. <laughs> I was not very happy. So we, re re we relocated here because I grew up in the Berkshires and this suits me. Um, and I would just love for my husband to have his dream to have his garage. So just wanted to speak in favor. Thank you. Thank you. Is there anyone else who wishes to speak in favor? Is there anyone who wishes to speak in opposition? Hearing none, we'll move on to the next step. 
We will now close. The, are there any further questions? What are last minute questions of any of our petitioners, board people? Okay. We will now close the public hearing section of this meeting. After that, we will deliberate. You are welcome to stay and see how the vote goes, but you won't be able to address the board during this part of the meeting. May I have a discussion on the first appeal, please? Well, I think most of the presentation on the opposition really isn't directed towards our considerations. More that is correct. Tuesday night. That is correct. And the, the meeting on that is next week? PNC? Correct. Okay. But we still talk about whether we're going to bring their grants the yeah. the right. the of on the, the, on the arguments yes. of the building yeah. and stuff. Right. Discussion. So anything we take from here forward is just dealing directly with our issue. We're just no, telling yeah. them quickly that you can no build it where you said you were going to build it. Of what's going to happen Tuesday. Right. Right. Totally right. separate. Yeah. 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 That's, that's the way it's set up. And it makes sense. They can't discuss what you're going to do with the building that's not been approved. We're just approving like the last next two. Okay. Let me hold the nine like the next one. You know what I mean? Yeah. Okay. Well, that's good. That was, that was the only thing that was really sticking right. with me. Yep. Yeah. I mean, I don't really see a lot of options that he can put in anywhere else. Yeah. I mean, I like what you came up with, moving it, but then you've got to drive over to well to get to Well, the, yeah, you, you'd have to, you will. Yeah. You'd have to, like, keep an island in there. Right. Like, if what he said, it brings it closer to, to the, the, the opposition. Feet, I think. Yeah. 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 So I don't know if it stays. Either, either way, he'd be in trouble. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Because yeah. of the narrowness yeah. of the lot and the size of the yeah. building. Yeah. 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 Um, It looks like the least disruptive place to put it to because you're going right in line with the driveway and all that right. stuff. So. Mm -hmm. um, who would like, are we done? Are we done with the discussion? Further discussion? Mm -hmm. you good? good? Hearing none, I'd like to call it, call for a vote. May I have a motion? to grant the first appeal. I'll make a motion to grant the appeal. Okay, Second. and you have to include oh, all of the oh, specifics and measures. <laughs> <laughs> you can't I'll make a motion to grant, grant, grant the appeal <laughs> yeah, based on the hardships. It's what's on the agenda. <laughs> <laughs> That's why I have you guys do it. Uh, where am I? I'm going to appeal by Mr. Olson seeking a salary variance on zoning regulations Section 8.1.3.2 to construct a 40 by 50 detached garage and 86 scramble node based on the hardships. I gotta, I'll take the easy part. I'll second. <laughs> we got to bring this stuff. Okay, in. and we want right, we right. want to say what the, say variance like what the variance should be. To this. Right, due to the setback. The variance. Um, what was that? Yeah, right here. The, the eight, yeah, no, yeah, right. Fifty foot. To so the setback required, requesting a 30 foot property line, 20 foot variance. Yeah. And you seconded it? I second. For the discussion, all those in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Abstentions? This is granted. The second appeal. This is the one on the Mechanicsville Road. That's the one on the road. Yes. Mechanicsville Road. I think in the spirit of what was there and what they're trying to do is yeah. Noble. Um, yes. Yes. You know, yes. It's on a piece of property that was damaged by fire. Mm -hmm. um, they're becoming less non-conforming non -conforming non -conforming than they were, you know, because they yes. ap apparently they could have built the barn in the same dimensions right. and not had a problem. Correct. That's the only reason yeah, we're yeah. here is because it's not the same size. Right. On the same footprint. Right. So, and then you know, pushing it back, they ha obviously have the septic and. Um, the corn crib in the mm -hmm. way, other existing structures. Um, so it actually looks like it's more. It's more less 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 less
My son said it was pretty tough to fight the fire. It was a pretty solid fire. Solid fire? Yeah. <laughs> Any further discussion? Yeah. Would someone please make a motion? I'll make a motion that we accept um, the request for variance to Stephen Basil to build a barn. Um, let's see. That 11 Mechanicsville Road. Road. I'm looking for the uh, setback that I'm looking for. A variance for. of 30 feet. A variance of 30 feet to build a barn that will actually be less non conforming than a pre existing building that was in existence for many years. Um, citing some of the hardships as a corn crib, existing structures, and uh, a septic field that is uh, pre pre uh, preventing it from going anywhere else. Is there a second? Second. Further discussion? All those in favor say aye. 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 Those opposed, nay. Uh, abstentions. It passes. And the last petition. This is the one on Mountain Road, rear lot. Yep. I have a motion to grant the petition. Oh, yeah, it discuss, right? Oh, yeah, we've, that's right. I'm forgetting. I'm doing Roberts. <laughs> Apologies. That's right. Let's discuss it. I don't have a problem with this one either. I don't I mean, he's, he's, you know, he's obviously um, working with his neighbors. And, um, looks like the neighbors are cool. Yeah, it looks like that's yeah. not an issue. And the fact that. Um, I'm struck by the respect for the land. Right. And not doing any further. Damage to what has been done already to the land. Right. Wetlands, topography. Yep. Land trust. Land trust. Yeah. 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 Let's have a motion, we, please. We always like it when they do less we tree cutting. Something in here too. And this is the one that has to go to the wet, inland wetlands and water courses after we approve the, the footprint. So who wants to make a motion? Variance of 70 feet. I'll make a motion uh, to grant Philip Piera the front yard variance um, regulation section 8.1.3.2 to construct a 64 by 34 garage with a variance, what was it, 70? 30 feet? 70 feet to, could, feet. to, to the allow them line. to construct right. the garage within 30 feet of the front property line. Correct. 30 right. feet of the front property line, yes. At 96 Rear Mountain Road. 96 Rear Mountain Road. Is there a second? I'll second. I'll All those in you favor? Have to, you, have to, you have to state the hardships. The har oh. uh, oh. just reading it. The hardships of the wetlands, the septic location, and the topography of the, um, and the preser preservation of mature trees. The right one too. Mm -hmm. Sounds good. Okay. All those in favor? Aye. Opposed? Abstentions? It passes. May I please have a motion to adjourn? So made. Please. Second. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Those opposed? Abstentions? Thank you very much. Thank you.